Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at Cliff and a few of my strategies and tips that I have for you here a little bit more in depth from last time. And also you can buy the rocket radars in the shop for 200 poker coins, basically $2 bypassing you having to go out and find those mysterious components, six of them to be exact from those grunts. So pretty nice that you can just speed up the process, I suppose, and even help you possibly get a Unova stone pay to win almost. Here we go. Now taking a look at a video that was submitted by somebody on Twitter. Look at the CP of the Rocket Leader's Pokemon. They are extremely low. That is because this trainer's level is lower, therefore it is going to be easier for them to take out. It doesn't even look like they're going to have to even hit a charge move, they're just tapping away on the screen. So it looks like there is hope for lower level trainers. Let's go ahead and take a look at Cliff here. So I did set out, I purchased a couple of those because I am in a bit of a rush time crunch today. So otherwise I would hunt down the mysterious components and then combine them together and then go out there. I'm not going to keep buying them like that, uh, but it does make it a little bit easier and less time consuming to just get them over with. All right. So what I did today was go in there with Lucario, Swamper and Tyranitar. I ran that every single time for three runs and I didn't see what he had prior. So I was going to able to see what if, how well it's going to perform here. Now you're going to look at Cliff's Pokemon to the left and see that it starts off with a Meowth, Snorlax or Sanchu. Flygon, and then finally Tyranitar, Infernape, or Torterra. The only problem with my line is if I ran into Torterra, I would be in a whole lot of trouble, right? Uh, but I have a fix for that. Basically swap out Tyranitar for Moltres with Sky Attack, and you should be looking okay. So you can either take out the Infernape, or you can take out the Torterra. But as you're going to see here, I went in with Lucario and Swamper and was able to just run through him. So Lucario is a shield burner with the power of punch as well as gaining your attack so that's going to be pretty nice and there are a few tips and tricks in between here that i'm not going to be talking about as i see them i'll mention them one being after you use or they use their charge don't use yours right away go ahead and attack a few times and then use your charge you want them to freeze as many times as possible after they use a charge they freeze after you use your charge they freeze as well as switching and then they will freeze so take advantage of all those little opportunities there swampert's water gun and hydro cannon as well as surf is going to be neutral to flygon because it is going to be part dragon as well as ground so it is going to be doing okay amount of damage now if i did run into torterra at the end i'm going to be in trouble so let's see what he has so we're looking pretty good finishing it off with water guns because it was frozen like we went over after you use your charge move it just stays still so it's going to be infernate looking good now if it was tyranitar which we're going to see that situation as well i was still able to do it with these two uh like we said if it did end up being torterra you simply switch into moltres with uh fire spin and sky attack you could use overheat that works too but sky attack is just going to able you to get those charge moves quicker without having to be vulnerable out there and i was able to finish with the shield and not even seeing my third pokemon so the combination worked pretty good if you're thinking okay well let's see you go up against the snorlax with that combination well i have just the thing for you i do believe we're going to go up against a zen headbutt as well as a lick all right so hope you guys are enjoying the team rocket leaders i am extremely excited for this i have been talking and waiting for this for about two years and we finally <laughs> have made it to this point and you have no idea how much i want to battle giovanni i'm gonna wait till midnight until i can go out there and spin a new stop and get it it's not like i want to get it over with but do that uh giovanni mission and just complete it and battle him so anyways gonna go on to catch this here scarlet did get herself a shiny shadow meowth yesterday <laughs> you couldn't believe it I have my shiny mouth. I'm happy with that. Pretty sure I might find another one before it ends. So moving on to the next one here. Let's see what we have. Run Zombies Pokestop. And it is going to be... Oh no, we do not want to battle Sierra. Not right now. We'll do a spe separate video for her in the future going over how to beat her. So we're going to take off from there. And you don't have to worry about it. Even if you use your battle on them. Say you, I hit OK. I went in there. I battled her and backed out and you're just over it you're like i can't beat this set you can just walk away and you'll still have your radar and you can go find another leader anyways moving on to the next cliff here all right so obviously it's always going to start with meowth now personally i feel like bite's going to be better um with lucario here and so we do take it out now i didn't get off a power up punch it probably would have been a better idea and i'm going to show you that in the third battle what i do is i hit power up punch the Meowth freezes, therefore I'm going to be able to do even more counter damage 
and then I will just be able to have more health as well. Just a little trick. We'll, we'll look at that the next one. So in comes the Snorlax here. I'm not going to hit these because it's just going to shield it up. But now we're free to uh, hit that. Let's see if we can get there. Now you're going to see the difference between this one. I'm not able to hit it because I did not do that first step that I showed you, or at least I talked about going up against a Meowth using your charge move and then finishing off with counters. Now I go in here with Tyranitar. Now it's going to be dark resisting the lick, which is going to be a ghost move. It will also be resisting Zen Headbutt, although I think Zen Headbutt is going to be a little bit more threatening in this situation, obviously, even though you're resisting it. So we will take out, well, you know, do a good amount of damage here. It's actually going to be able to take it out with just the Tyranitar here. We just need to get to another Smackdown. Now I do have a Tyranitar with, I do believe, Smackdown and Stone Edge, as well as Bite, or should I say Crunch. So it has a charge move that can get there quicker. In this situation, it probably been a little bit safer, but I do farm it up. I got a little nervous. I, I got a little nervous, so I just finished it off. I did not want to waste all that energy uh, for nothing, but that's fine. We still have another Pokemon in the back here. And it is going to be Tyranitar. Now we have our Swamper, right? Now, here we go. The lineup is continued to work for me. Now, you know, of course, Torterra would completely demolish a Swamper, but... If that was the case, you simply go back in with that same lineup, switch one Pokemon for the Moltres, or you can even use Articuno, all right? I'm sure you can use other Fire-type Pokemon, would work fine. A little bit tight, but it should still be able to work for you, and we're able to get to another Hydro Cannon. Now, Swampert as well is another Pokemon to use to burn their shields. You can just spam that Surf. If you had Mud Shot, it's going to be a little bit better for you. I do have Water Gun, because this is my... Um, PVE going up against gyms and raids and it's maxed out. I could switch it in which probably would have served as a better example. It's just going to be able to be spammy even more so with that mud shot. So anyways, we take them out there looking good. We haven't lost to Cliff yet um, because, you know, it can be random. You know, the, the Pokemon that they do have there, you could have, make the perfect party to your thinking, but then you go up against them and then the combination is just all kinds of wacky. But, you know, it can be foolproof if you do it right now moving on to the last and final one you're going to see i do not make any errors in this one and i go by the books completely using the charge move on the meowth taking advantage of the time in which it's still finishing it off with counters and then i have even more energy for the next pokemon as well as more health so let's take a look at that all right so here we go this time i'm going to be hitting that counter and reserving my energy for the next Pokemon. My counter is going to be stronger, still has bite, and we're going to go ahead and go for that. You don't need to try to hit any sort of excellent grade or whatever because it's just going to shield the first two charge moves, right? And Lucario's uh, power punch is going to be getting there quick. So we take him down and look how much health we have because we did make it freeze. Great. And we're ready to go for a power punch. It's going to be a Snorlax. We still have another shield to burn, so we don't need to hit those uh, yet. But the next one we will obviously try to hit the excellence. And we're going to freeze it. Okay, now let's see if we can get to it. Oh, it's another lick. Sorry. Thought it was going to be Zen Headbutt. Anyways, we are still able to get to it. If it was Zen Headbutt, it probably would have taken us out, maybe. Uh, more than likely, even though the steel is going to be help helping resist it. We're going to freeze him again. Now we're doing even more damage. I was trying to switch, but it wouldn't because I wanted to freeze it yet again. And go in there with the Tyranitar, resisting the lick and or Zen Headbutt if it did have it. You definitely want Smackdown in every situation. If you do have a Tyranitar with Stone Edge and Crunch, that is going to serve you pretty well because you'll be able to get to that Crunch quicker. If they're like just a sliver of health, right? You don't really have Stone Edge yet. Uh, but if you have Smackdown and Stone Edge Tyranitar just like this, I mean, as you can see, it's still fine. And I'm pretty sure he was just about to get to his charge. This time around, I'm able to save it. Thanks to that Lucario and using that Power Punch, at the perfect timing, I have this situation here. So in comes his next Pokemon, and that is going to be Tyranitar itself. And we're able to get off that Stone Edge, and we're just going to go ahead and get off another Stone Edge. Now, I do believe I tried to switch here, but I wasn't fast enough uh, to freeze him yet again. And we do have the Swampert in the back. Nope, I was able to switch. Now we're freezing him yet again. See, all these little tiny tips and little bits are going to help you out, right? And then we're just going to... You know, hose them down, right? <laughs> and that's it. So 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up if it helped you out. I will be bringing you guides on the rest of these uh, leaders here because I am going to continue to do them having a blast. I do have a tournament later today for the Ferocious Cup. That should be pretty fun. And I can't wait to bring you guys the video. I'm going to be going in there with a few crazy picks. So let's hope and cross our fingers that they work. Actually, no, we're not going to cross our fingers. We're going to go in there. We're going to make things happen, basically, right? We don't hope for luck. We hope for good leads. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, another thing uh, about the leaders not appearing after a certain time. So there's basically a curfew. It's like raids, right? They're going to be ending around 10 and then returning around the same time that the uh, raids start. I think maybe a little bit later in the day. There's also another message telling you to move to another area. And that is simply because there's no leaders in there. In that area, you just need to find some more Pokestops. Anyways, thank you for watching, trainers, and I'll be catching you all in my next video. Take care.